which I paid for it. I don't know if you can see that. It was $44 to the door. 250 gig. Alright. <clears throat> so this is what we have to do first. Have to open it up. Alright, in the package. Alright, now, to do this, you have to have a thumb drive and preferably a laptop. Let's see. Let me, let me see if I can get the camera a little further back here. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> So, the laptop um, needs to be uh, pretty new and contain a SATA, a SATA hard drive. Like so. Alright, so that's my, my ori uh, original hard drive. Here's the... Uh, Here's the new one. Now I'm not going to put it in the case, I'm just going to snap it on in here. On your thumb drive, you have to have it bootable. Whatever you want to make to make it bootable, do so for a thumb drive. Then you want to download a utility called um, <clears throat> HDD Hacker. HDD H-A-C-K-R. <clears throat> and... Uh, If you, if you Google that, you can get the uh, the bin files. Um, I believe they call it a bin file. Basically, it contains boot sectors for a hard drive, and uh, you get the various ones. <clears throat> um, there's one for 60 gig image. There's one for I think uh, 120 gig. And a uh, 250 gig. Alright, so. And excuse the umi zoomy in the background. I gotta keep a 19 month old occupied. Alright, so we want to go into um, boot device options. Now, if I do a listing on my thumb drive, there's my HDD hacker. And if you can see it, okay. My HDD hacker and my bin file that contains the sectors for this hard drive. <clears throat> HDD hack hacker. Alright, so when you run this, it's going to say which drive do you want? So we want uh, number two here. Uh, we want to flash. And we want to put the name of the bin file, which is going to be the same thing there, hddss.bin. <clears throat> and this is just a backup. Undo that bin uh, if we ever want to undo this change. Yes, do it. Say yes. Create the partitions. And it's writing all the good stuff to the drive. Alright, done. Turn off the laptop. <laughs> we'll take out the drive. Like so. <clears throat> All right, install the original drive. All right, so here is the new Xbox three sixty slim four gig. Uh, version. I just have a uh, memory stick in there just testing it out. But anyway, uh, 
This is where the hard drive goes. So you want to pop this open and down in the bottom there is a SATA connector and it is keyed exactly like this. So all you do is just line it up on your newly flashed drive and let me put the camera down here for a minute. <clears throat> All right, it sounds like it's snapped in there. Actually, I have a uh, a uh, case I bought online. I forgot the name of the website. It was from Hong Kong, actually. Uh, a hard drive case. It was eight dollars with with shipping. Um, so when I get that in, I'll put the hard drive in there, and it'll have its original Xbox case. Alright, so let me go hook this back up and I'll show you what we okay, got. Okay, so here we go. Uh, battery's going dead. Alright. So we got the hard drive in. We're going to turn this joker on. Grab my controller here. All right. So we go to Xbox. So we go over here to the memory. Booyaka. Go down to here. Whammo. And there you have it. Xbox. 360 slim 4 gig version 4 gig Xbox with a hacked 250 gig hard drive so it actually is only uh, 228 gigs usable there you go Xbox 360 slim bye bye